Hello and welcome to the Skyla Asteria setup tutorial video. If you're watching this, you've received your Asteria. This video serves to demonstrate just how easy it is to get the Skyla Asteria plugged into your existing surveillance network. Once you unpack your Asteria, you're going to have your power supply rated at 24 volts DC, your input output connector, and of course, your solid state fanless edge device. Now, one thing important to remember about the edge device is the chassis is one large heat sink. So you want to install this in a well-ventilated area, nothing sitting on top. Another thing to note that's important is your Asteria is designed to be a bulletproof security device. So the input-output connectors as well as the power connectors are designed to be screwed in upon installation. I recommend having a micro screwdriver set and once everything is plugged in, Go ahead and cinch those down to ensure they don't pop out for any reason, including maintenance. Your next step will be to get it online. Give your stereo a patch cable coming in from your local network, and a steady heartbeat will indicate connection. If your network hands off IP addresses automatically, the stereo is set to DHCP and will obtain an IP address automatically. The IO connectors, or input-output connectors, essentially dry contacts. You can utilize these ports to trigger sirens, strobe lights, intercept, mag locks, and strikes for actionable events such as guns being detected or intruders being detected. So if you've got power and a heartbeat on the network jack, the next step is to log into your Asteria. There's a number of ways to do that. For those of you who are a bit more advanced, you can run an IP scan utilizing any computer on the same network and discover the Asteria that way. Then you can navigate using the Chrome browser to that IP address and it'll log you right into the Asteria. If you don't know how to do that, you can also connect a keyboard mouse and a monitor to the Asteria and use the graphical user interface to see the IP address of the device. But beyond that, this is designed to be a headless edge device, so once you know the IP address, you don't need a keyboard mouse or HDMI connected to any monitor. And that's all there is to it. Now the Asteria is on the edge of your network ready to analyze your video streams. In a separate video, we're going to talk about the Skyla dashboard, how to choose your cameras, and how to choose your analytics. And if you want to learn more about Skyla, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to release individual videos talking about the different AI modules that Skyla develops. Those modules include gun detection, uh, acts of aggression such as fights or vandalism, smoke and fire, uh, analyzing shopping patterns and retail environments, the list goes on. Be sure to subscribe so you can get the latest news and latest tutorials regarding those individual modules.